off. Engage. Hey! They cheer. I know, this is the best hunting you've ever seen, isn't it? Let's be honest. How are you doing and how have you been? My name is Tazastuko. Welcome to my fresh RimWorld playthrough, in which this time we are going down the royalty path. We are going to try and win by just outroyaling people, I guess. We're going to have a king, which throughout the series is unable to do any tasks, and the rest we will be getting everyone titles galore, because we are living the high life. So let's start a new colony and let's waste no time. We will be starting as a tribe. Uh, just because I don't know how well this is going to work with, obviously, our plan is to have one person that is always going to be incapable of doing work, going to be our king and queen, never do work. And then everyone else can work for them and gather their own titles. 500% difficulty as always, party people. Oh, and then realigned any time. There's only one seed that we need, and that is the seed of Tazastical. I'll get that on a shirt, don't worry. I'll do like 50% globe coverage and then generate. And here we go. So, what is the plan? Royalty don't live in mountains, party people. No, we don't. We need a good ocean view because that's what royalty needs. Now, when a little disclaimer now, while I try and play efficient, if you are new to the channel, I like playing to storylines. So there are some efficiency things we will look past if the story determines it. So for instance, obviously mountain bases are the strongest, but our royalty bloodline would like a sea view. I'm looking for large hills because I think we've done a lot of mountain playthroughs. So I'd really like... Um, some large hills just where it could potentially block stuff off for us. And I would like to be close to a road. This could actually be a great spot. Large hills. So I always prioritize either marble or granite. Granite being the toughest. Marble being the prettiest. So let's do this. I like the idea of this. Uh, what's that block there? Exactly the same. And we have a western coast. Right, we'll do one more bigger because bigger is better. And then we'll go over to here. I think we're just going to do something like Unity. Like something really simple. We're going to focus more on the royalty side. Rather than like our beliefs and stuff like that. I feel something like Unity is going to be absolutely fine. I've got other playthroughs where I do Cowboy and stuff like that. Go check them out. I like all my series to feel fresh and different, so that's why I do stuff that's vastly different in all of them. I'm going to get the colonists together and let's see who's going to be the king or queen of this playthrough. Here we go, and here are our five royal subjects. Now, I did make a custom xenotype, so I will just quickly come in here. Load pre-made, load custom, load. So this is what we're running with. We're running with, because we're trying to do as royal as possible. High libido increases the chance of loving. We're very fertile. We're very attractive. You know we are, party people. You know we are. Thin bodies. Should probably be thick. Would probably suit royals more better. But I'm, I'm going for like elf royalty. So blonde hair. Blue skin. We're a bit inbred. Like, don't judge us for it, okay? Nemi is going to be our leader. So as part of the series, Nemi will not be assigned to any jobs whatsoever. Probably just... Um, can still, like, talk to trade people. And obviously, if worse comes scenario, can medicine and stuff like that. But when we start, we'll be unticked on everything. Then we have Black... Oh, yeah, and another thing, because we're in bread, everyone's got slow learners. So that would be fun for us. Black is going to be our cooker, and then potentially if we can get animals, especially cows, because they're so overpowered, can do that as well. I'm looking for the best four people, because Nemi, the king, doesn't just pick any old subjects to come with him. He picks the best subjects to come with him. Trout is next. Trout can do a bit of crafting, a bit of overlapping with animals if need be, a bit of construction, a bit of plants. Very solid. Got a scratch scar, which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, delicates, that's going to be real fun because all incoming damage is multiplied. So that's going to be great. 
Then we got Mole, Gourmet, so added hunger on top of the hunger with, with our royalty. Although we haven't selected too much that's going to add to it. Um, I don't know if we've actually got much of anything at all. So yeah, our hunger rate is already, if you look at the bottom, times 175. And with Gourmet going to 150 as well. Mole is going to be a hungry mole. But Mo is there for the double passion in construction, going to come very, very handy. And the double passion in intellect, which early on is vital. And then Rhino to basically close off our colony for now. Very neurotic, more work speed, but can break easier. And animals, social, intellect, all that. You can see everything we've got covered here. Mining is the only thing we're really missing. Maybe someone with really good medicine. Like our best medicine is coming from Mole, but I think it should be okay. Let's jump to it, party people. I love starting a new colony. Let's get to it. The gods were very angry. The blood machines came at night. They swept through your village, cutting and burning your people with their blades and devil fire. Only a few of you escaped. Five to be precise, Randy. Now... After a harrowing journey with no friends to turn to, you must build a new home in the wilderness like your ancestors did. Oh, I'm always hyped when we start a new series. There is nothing better than starting a new series. Starting a new colony on RimWorld to see what the potential could be. First of all, let's check out our map. So, ocean's that side. Oh, is that a little steam geyser down there? Mm, very close to the edge of the map. A lot of mountain for large hills. Some fertile grass. A bit barren. Lack of trees, I'm saying. We've got some cactuses we could potentially cut. Ancient danger there. I'm not quite sure where to set up. In here could be quite nice. Uh... Oh, I thought I saw... There we go. Wait, is that? No, that's... I thought that was the meditation tree. Where is the meditation tree? There. Slightly awkward. Could cut it down and see if it regrows somewhere. Unless we put our base in here, which is probably going to be the obvious solution. Because then our first building could be off of that. Which starts us off quite nicely. Is there any fertile grass? There's a bit of fertile grass there that we could set up initially. If a steam geyser was in here, it would have pretty much been the perfect start. Seeing if there's any other obvious options. That's already built. The problem is a lot of this is going to be soft terrain. And we haven't really got the woods... Steam guys are there. I would like to be close to this tree. The problem is we're very close to the edge of the map down here. I feel like setting up in here is going to be the best thing to start with. So we're going to go... Just a little stockpile there. We'll go a little dumping stockpile there. Let's plan. We'll do something like... 13 by 13 just to start with. We'll do a large room where we garrison everyone up. Right. Nemi. Doesn't do any work. You are our leader. And our leader will do no work. Nemi is like the manager at your work. Where he walks around with a um, clipboard. Doesn't really do anything. But bosses everyone about. I did also tick that our genes are able to be passed down to children and stuff. So yes, party people, it is happening. This will be... We will be having lots of children and breeding. Oh no, Nemi doesn't do any childcare. Let's not be silly. I'm just setting up like a bare minimum like what we're going to start with. Um, grow. Plant cut. 
And this is nice because then everyone can stick with their passions, which I find is really good because they get a mood boost for it. Oh, didn't notice that only a couple of people can do haul and clean, which is a bit negative. Let's make sure we're prioritizing cleaning just to make sure it actually gets done. Mole can then construct, art, research. Lack is going to be then a minor research. Early on, this might be a little bit of a slow burner. Um... Yeah, we'll prioritize that. So on the fertile grass that we've got here, let's set up a grow zone. There we go. Turn off that green before it blinds everyone. And we'll grow rice there. Gonna deconstruct that. Does this give any beauty or anything? No, I guess we'll leave it, though. Don't want to waste time. So the resources that we start with, is it just literally a bit of wood? Yeah, just a bit of wood. 500 wood. Just want to see if we've got enough to get the initial base up with that. 35. There we go. Right, there we go. Right, so we're going to go speed one. Everyone can travel everywhere. What I will do, actually, pause it. Draft, undraft, and that will reset everything. Lovely bit of fertile bit up here. But the reason why I set up here is because then eventually we can try and grab that tree. It's in a very awkward position. If I cut it down, is it just going to have a chance to regrow them? And plus then we can use this um, structure that's already there. We've got some trees around here that we can cut for early resources. So I feel like this is the best setup. So, first of all, we're going to do sleeping. So one, two, three, four, five. And I also want to do a growing zone. Actually, get rid of them growing zones because we want to do the old trickeroony And a growing zone inside... And we want to go... I think it's Daylilies. Let me just double check. For Easy Beauty. So they're 18 Beauty. It's been a while since I started a new save. And Rose is 14. So we'll get some Daylilies inside there. That'll be lovely. Just to get that beauty to make sure. Because they're in a garrison, they're going to be miserable enough as it is. So I don't need to add to their misery. At the door. Right, there we go. So we've got the five beds up. Uh, don't waste your time deconstructing any of these walls at the moment. Our time can be best spent elsewhere. So the growers are going, the construction is getting constructed. The colonists that haven't got anything to do. So... We have got some steel, so I might actually get you mining because you're not actually going to do much else at the moment anyway. Let's go on speed three. And I will set all the chunks to just be hauled. They'll just be hauled there so it's not too far away. Now, have we got animals? Okay, so we have got three animals, three foxes, so I will start... I'll keep them in the home zone just for the time being. And actually, I will put a animal sleeping spot. One, two, three. Okay, not a bad start if we can get all this roofed and whatnot. At least day one, we're going to be inside roofed and comfy cozy. And look at us go, party people. We've got our base like going. We've got our workers working. We're living the dream already. No. What's Nemi doing? They're just eating, just eating like a king should. Right. Hunt uh, ranged weapons. I'm always terrible for starting a game and not actually equipping everyone. The king will fight because, you know. Well, obviously, lead the line. Shooting is six. I'll probably give you that because you won't be hunting or anything. 
I suppose the royalty do go on hunts. So it does make sense him having a bow. Careful shooter. Trout, have that. Rhino. I'll give you the club, but I'm not happy about it. And then Mole, your ab. Uh, yeah, Brawler. So plus four to melee. Melee hit chance is plus. So you'll have the Jade Knife. There we go. So make sure everyone's equipped with weapons. I've heard that's a good way to start. Very, very nicely done. I feel like this is a solid first start. I think the only thing we can then do is um, get rid of this plan so it looks a bit nicer to look at. And I will set these up. I feel like RimWorld is a lot more relaxing when you first start. Do you know what I mean? The music's going, you're just happily building away. Starting a new journey, getting to know the new colonists. Right, there we go. So that's all getting grown, which is absolutely lovely. I suppose the next thing we're going to do is let's have a look at what wildlife is around. We've got a lot of gazelles and stuff, so that's handy. We're going to have to sort out food relatively quickly. All this just needs hauling and all honesty. Mole isn't doing anything. There's nothing to construct. So we need to get that research bench up pretty lickety quick. Because otherwise people aren't really going to be doing much. So let's go... We need a bit of steel. So we get that there. And then I'd like... Dining room table there. That gets deconstructed. Torch lamp in the middle. Uh, I'm going to not allow that for the time being. Let's get the dining room table and the torch up first. That's more priority. I will then go order. I would like to cut some trees that are in our immediate area down. Nothing too crazy. Then we will have to get stockpile out. Okay, so first day, not too bad. Not too shabby. Not the worst setup for a day one. Like, everyone's cosy. We're inside. It's not all roofed, but just ignore that. Bruh. But it could be worse, party people. As starts go on this channel, this is pretty golden. And tomorrow, we're going to work on getting the dining room table up. Then we'll get the research bench up straight away quicker. Straight away quicker. <laughs> straight away afterwards. Yeah, happy. Like, you got to be proud of me slightly. I'm proud of you. And then we'll have to sort out our food situation sooner rather than later. So, we're doing a 13 by 13. So then if I do, like... I'd rather get all this inside sooner rather than later. So that can be our stockpile. So we'll just roof all that. And then we can get our food situation going. Butcher table there. And we'll probably hunt some gazelles in all honesty. Just because we have quite a few on here. The rhinos I'm looking for or thinking about getting them, especially for their clothing and stuff like that. 
which I think is going to be really, really cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to aim for episode one and episode two to be about an hour long. And then we're going to go back down to 40 minute episodes just to treat you all people because a new series is always awesome. And you got to give the people what they want, do you know what I mean? And what they want is my sexy voice, so I've got to give it to them. Hot damn! You know what you're here for. Right, the research bench is going up, which is a very, very important. What are we going for first? I feel like... Hang on, let's go speed one. So it's either stone cutting or complex furniture, really. I feel like we need to go straight with stone cutting just because of the lack of wood in our environment. We need building materials quick, quick, quick. Um, obviously, honourable mentions about getting beds up first, but I think that's how I'm going to want to play this. Right, let's get this butcher table up and then we can actually start hunting some stuff. I imagine we're lacking wood. Just making sure everyone was unrestricted and whatnot. There we go, Trout's cutting some wood down. See, we're not going to get crazy amounts of wood from the cactuses. But we don't need crazy amounts of wood, so it's not too bad. Day two done. I'm happy. Right, look how cosy comfy they are. Probably a bit too much zoomed in. They're cosy comfy. We're going well. <laughs> Can you tell? Like, I'm nervous. I'm just like, I want to make you proud, party people. And then we'll start walling off the base. That's the nice thing about where we are. Obviously, we have this point of entry here that we can wall off. And then we'll probably just, like, wall it off from here. Build the kill box here. Like, it's a very easy start for us, it has to be said. But we just need wood done so we can get the butcher station up. Once we get the butcher station up, we'll get the kitchen up because we are running out of food. One thing we could actually do is harvest some berry bushes... That are immediately close to us. There we go. It's harvesting everything. There we go. We've got the butcher station up. So I will just literally go butcher creature forever. Because why not? And then in this I will go corpses... Animal corpses can come in here, but what I will do is say no, no rotten stuff. Okay, so then we're going to set up some hunting stuff. Is there anything nearby that I can see before I go into the wildlife tab to have a look? The nice thing about the wildlife tab. Not how far, oh, they're not actually that far away. So I will just set them all up to be... Actually, no, I won't set them all up to be hunted, because if we set all of them up to be hunted early on, they're just going to sit in the freezer and not actually get cooked. So what I'll do is I'll just grab them, and I'll hunt them. And I feel like that's going to be a better way to do that. There we go, our king going out to hunt, just like kings do. Very, very nice. We'll have to keep an eye on, obviously, the meal intake, because we will be... Hunting for food quite a lot. The quicker we can get this stone bench up, the better. Ancient danger. Oh, have we got two? Very, very interesting. So I will just mark these with a B for danger. Well, I assume we have two ancient dangers on the map. With that being one. And I'm assuming that's another one. I'll put D on this, but... I don't really think I need that reminder on that one. Okay. Um, so yeah, so then the next thing we need... Do I want to spend the resources? So it's eight steel for a field stove. Where is... Or it's 20 wood just for a campfire. I think we'll just do the campfire. Save the steel. 
and use wood that we don't have. Can we? Yeah, because we can still make meals from it. Oh, I'll set up just a very simple, like, meal order when you're first starting out. Is It's more efficient to make two at a time, so we always put that one up at the top. But for whatever reason, if you can't make that, then you can make simple meals up below. And we've got five colonists, so we'll do something very simple. 15 meals, and then unpause. 15 meals, and then unpause. Let's say it's seven. Then we make sure we've got enough. And then down here, it's not really going to matter. But we'll do exactly the same. And then that's perfect. Then it just goes down the priority list. Nice way to start. Best way to start, I think. So we do need to worry about, obviously, animals eating our meals. Um, so I'm going to have to, like... Shrink that zone. Make a stockpile here. Clear all. This will be meals. Because I don't want them eating our meals. I don't mind them eating the raw food, though. So then I'm going to make another... So let's make new area. This will be for pets. Because otherwise they're just going to eat all our food straight away the pets can go in here they can come in here that's fine but i'm not going to allow them on the square where our meals are i want them to stay close to home because chances are predators will attack them and especially since we've got a mega sloth is not a predator i always forget that but yeah just keep them close it's just easier then we go animals set to pets How's the king getting on with hunting? Is, is we're hunting with obviously bows and whatnot. We'll probably get to making some great bows that would be quite handy. Elfwise, it is going to die. I just don't want it to run off the map. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. First bit of food comes in. Right, we're eating raw food. Who's the cook? Drafts, you stop doing that. Black is going to butcher. Hang on. Right, there we go. Now undraft you, then you'll go get an actual meal. Because they need more raw food than what an actual meal would um, be, if that makes sense. So raw food, they'll have more of it than what would it take to make a meal. I can't make that any clearer. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, we're having fun, party people. Right, yeah. Right now, a draft on draft resets what you're doing. Nice, nice, nice. So we've got a food source, be it as slow as anything, but we've got one. Uh, the beauty in this room. Pretty nice. Let's have a look at the needs of everyone. Black is the most miserable. I slept on ground. But overall, overall, the impressive dining room, impressive rec room. And that's all because of these flowers here. Just given that 15, bo uh, like 15 uh, beauty each. That's why I love starting like, I know a lot of you will know about this, but that's why I love starting like that now. Garrison, start it up because I think when I usually, or when I was a bit of a beginner, I just played this on the side. I used to always spend the time just making, like, individual bedrooms for everyone. And, I mean, look how happy they are. Look how cosy they are. Look, Nemi every now and then gets a little bit of, a, like, a cuddle from Trout. Like, camaraderie. That's what it gives us, camaraderie. So I might actually take these off of hunt. Now, I mean, like, Rhino can hunt, but then it makes sure trout is always growing and stuff like that. Okay, so we got some people that are bored. A transport pod has crashed. Um, and that's from the Empire of the Gods. 
Uh, are they the factions? Okay, so what we will do then, because we want to be friends with the Empire, because we want to be... We're royals. That's what we're doing this... We'll put a bed there. We'll make that into medical. Uh, where are you? What's your health? Is anyone really close? Okay. So hopefully we can get up there. If I draft... I can tend without medicine. To help them. There we go. So they're sort of stable. So then we'll rescue. So that will take that person down into our medical bay. And then we should get like a, a thumbs up, a good job, like a thank you for helping us. Okay. Lovely setup so far. Let's deconstruct that. Uh, let's haul some more of these blocks out the way. Don't really need too much at the moment, in all honesty. Just need to make sure we're keeping up with the hunting. Um, just having a wide look to see if there's any gazelles nearby. We've chased them all quite far away, though. And I am very keen to get the rhinos. Check wildlife. Just want to see if anything's injured or anything like that. The emus, yeah, they have a chance to hit back. Okay. But yeah, them rhinos are going to come in very handy for clothing. I would like to go... Production. I would like to get a crafting spot. Because uh, I'd really like to get some great bows early on. They're not going to cost too much to make. And um, they should give us a greater range for hunting and stuff than the short bow is. So I'll click on this. Bills. We have a quick look. We can't get... Oh no, we have to research. Recurve bows. So short bows. Range is 23. Damage is 11. 26, 14. So let's get a quick upgrade, get some bows. I uh, would like some war masks, but we don't actually have any. Let's just have a quick look at our religion. So it's literally just loyalists, collective, child labor encouraged. Drug use prohibited. The leader wears a head wrap, fair enough. Moral guide wears a hood. Okay. Uh, heat wave is incoming. So we need to get a... I'll get two passive callers just to make sure we're okay. Because we're using quite a bit of wood. So let's get some wood cutting done. Problem is, is there's not many trees near us. I don't want to waste too much time by going too far away. There we go. And then it's just a case of getting the research done to get the benches in. And then we'll be making stone blocks. Then we can look at the kill box and stuff like that. The food situation is fine. We have got the two hunters. So they can prioritize doing that. I do need someone on craft to actually complete that task that I set. So trout. And trout should get to that because the only growing zones we actually have are the rice that's outside and then obviously the daylilies inside. I'm just drafting them so they're not eating raw food. No, oh, did anyway. My bad. Right. Boom rat will hunt. We're going to need more food than what we've got here. Lovely bit of fertile thing. I feel like we should have maybe set up here, but I was just thinking initially because then we can shut ourselves in here. So I suppose what we will do then.
Rice, corn. And hill root down here. Okay, we've not got a uh, plant yet, but I will just put it down there just so it's ready. Uh, getting some new bows made, so that will be very, very good for the colony. Way since you, it looks like you, it looked like I zoomed in on purpose, didn't it? I'm so good at this game. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Rhino thinks you should give your faction a name. Rhino should sit down and understand his place in this colony. Right. Gonna be a very... The nation of the king! King's Pit. I mean, that doesn't sound really like a royal place, the King's Pit, but... I mean... Let's not go into what the King's Pit should be or could be. Right, luckily that gazelle's come in here. Nice, more food coming in. Uh, stone cutting is done, so that's a really good. Hot damn! Then, are we going... We'll go complex furnishing so then we can get beds up. Because that is a negative that we have got. Slept on ground, sweaty, where we're trying to sort out that. Not too much we can do about that. Cargo pods. Uh, sheep wool, okay. I don't know if we're going to do too much with that. Potentially make masks out of that. But then that'd hide our beautiful blue skin and that'd be disappointing. Right, we are actually cooking meals now, which is nice. Now the rice harvest has come in, but it's really good just to put rice on this fertile grass. Same with our hydroponics, it grows so fast, it's absolutely awesome. So I do really, really enjoy this. This is the problem when I play RimWorld, like starting again. I can't stop playing it. Right, we don't want to waste too much time. I feel like we're being fairly good so far. Just need to make sure the hunting keeps coming in slowly. Obviously, the grow fields need to be up sooner rather than later. It's my bad only doing them, but it hasn't impacted us too much. You're new to the channel. I have a tendency to let people starve. <laughs> Just a tendency. It doesn't happen very often. But the plan will be, you know, to have everyone get titles. So we are going down the royal... Is this guy, like, how injured are you? Just, yeah, okay. Um... Everyone's to have titles. Nemi's going to be our king. And then hopefully we can complete it down the royalty route. Not done that yet, so that'll be cool. And then, and then yeah, yeah, that's it. And then we're going to have lots and lots of kids. Because the idea is... What? Male. Female. 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 Male. Okay. I was just making sure we actually had females then. But Black Trout and Rhino are all females, as you can tell from their feminine names. Not that that means you're a female, but... Um, yeah, because our genes can be passed down to kids and whatnot. The only problem that we are going to have is that our genes, because we're inbred... Because we're inbred, that does give us slow learner and everything. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful in what we do. But it turns out kids are really, really good. Um, although people in my channel kept telling me they're not very good. We're going to give them a try. Uh. Are you serious? <laughs> oh. So yeah, all right. Heat wave's over. So that's a very, very nice. So what I will do is grab these coolers here and just turn off their automatic refueling because we don't want to waste any more wood than we don't have. We will get another research bench up soon uh we have got some bored people i was hoping like kibo would be gone and then i could put another research bench there then it would look all nice and pretty a blight on the rice i mean damn give me a chance it's all the rice gone straight away so 
That's how I feel about that. To make sure until till the food is sorted, we're gonna have to hunt. Looking at the rhinos, if we had better weapons, I'd probably take them on. But I think the only problem is, is if um, a couple hit us at the same time, it'd probably end us. And we're living the dream in our little hidey hole party, people. The dream will always continue. Well, dream for some, and others, it's just a punishment, isn't it? Um. There's a mega sloth here that we could actually go hunt. I think it's probably going to be safer just to try and grab all the berries everywhere. It's not as sexy by any means. It's probably going to be a lot more consistent. If I set trout to plant cut first, you'll go cut all, cut all them. I'll come and tell you manually to do these then. I don't think we're equipped well enough to go hunt that mega sloth as much as I would prefer to. I can't even talk. Like, what is going on? Right, there we go. I need to wall this off. There's so much we need to do. Problem is, this trout is pretty much king of everything. Complex furnituring is done. Next we'll do grow next we'll do great bow. Like pull it together, Tazastical. You serious? Beginning of a series, and I'm stumbling. Right, we're eating some berries, so at least we're not starving. I think we will go hunt this mega sloth in all honesty. Uh one thing I would like to do, so these animals are veterinated, which means we can't actually hunt them or anything. Uh but I would like to actually kick them out of my freezer now. Because we do not have the food for them just to be willy-nilly eating everything. Like, come up here, go eat some berries. Have we got any wildlife that's injured or anything? Yeah, it's either the mega sloth or the rhinos. I actually think we'd have more luck just on the mega sloth, but let's go with the harvesting of berries just for the time being. We might get food poisoning, but to be honest, I'd rather food poisoning than starving to death. One seems worse than the other, do you know what I mean? And we will be able to get beds up soon, which that's pretty banger. Reject a proposal. <gasps> Rhino rejected Nemi's proposal. It's drama. Your drama. Rhino was always getting that meal, Jeeves. Uh, what's Trout doing? Eating berries, I caught ya. Low Psychic Drone, didn't really need that, I'll be honest. Thanks, game. Uh, so I'm gonna draft everyone. Trout, can you finish that? Maybe in the morning. Prefer another bow and then we'll go hunt that Mega Sloth. We're very, very hungry. We're in the morning, we'll go get that mega sloth. Psychic drone obviously is not helping, it's very, very bad timing. Ambrosia sprout, that'll cheer everyone up. You're going to leave. Lovely. Right, I'm going to draft everyone. Let's go kill this Mega Sloth. Make it sound a lot easier than what this is going to be. Brilliant Trout. Way to be a team player.
continue the bows to actually hit. Yeah, it's not the sexiest hunting that you've ever seen. It's not the worst. So I'd prefer if Rhino didn't get hit altogether. This is going to be... I mean, this is sexy, isn't it? Oh, no! Okay. Back off. Engage. Hey! They cheer. I know, this is the best hunting you've ever seen, isn't it? Let's be honest. Right, and that's meals. I know, I make stuff look easy. Uh, sign, did I turn off... Yep, so no raw food, please. Wait until it gets cooked. Black, aren't you our cook? Yeah, I was about to say, isn't there anything else you feel like you should be doing this moment? There we go, all cooking up. A storm does give us some heavy fur, which... Uh, I thought it was leather by the look of that, but nope. Right, food coming in is obviously great. Hopefully Trout can then sort out all the rice fields and whatnot. Obviously we distracted Trout for a little bit. So sorry about that. Other than that, I feel like a strong episode. Next time out, we're going to be getting the stone cutting table up. So then we can get a kill box up. We can wall out the colony. The psychic drone is ending as well. Like, if that's not reason for a hot dam, then I don't know what is. Bit of food in our belly. We got the rhinos we can go and hunt. I'd prefer some better weaponry before we start doing that. I was hoping these recarve bows would get done pretty quickly, but evidently not. So we might just go straight for great bows if that's the case. Sort of is what it is. But we haven't had our first attack yet. I'd prefer to like wall us out when we had the blocks though. I mean, I can get a steel cut table there. Food binge, whatever. Then we can mine a little bit of steel here just to make sure we've got enough for that. And then that's going to allow us to make blocks because then we'll build a wall here and then we'll build a very cheap and cheerful kill box either here or add it onto our base. Either or I feel like it's going to be good enough. See, the breakdowns eating the food isn't great. But it's what it is. Any wildlife that we can... Elephants. Just thinking, like... Armour is quite good. The problem is if, like, several come and attack us all at once if we anger them. Elephants to the south. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, we need this for honor. Except, except with Nemi, because we need the title. Then a mad guinea pig will join shortly. Uh, I probably need a allow manage zone new area. And uh, attack. Just so we're not going too far away. Um, we make sure we're harvesting the berry bushes, though. Right, here we go, mad guinea pig. Everyone come under attack. Or in the zone, so you're not too far away. Right, here we go. Hoping you'll chase trout, so then I can just kite you nice and easy. Although I need the bows to hit. I need the bows to hit. Jeez. I get how rough it is with the bows and whatnot. 
Obviously, Trout isn't the best person to put in danger there, but it sort of was what it was. So we do get some honour for Nemi, because Nemi was hard at work there. Shuttle arrives. And shuttle. There we go. Nemi's first title. Very, very nice. We will have to get all that done. Um, Alright, growing is abysmal. So, after you're finished constructing, you can help row and plant cut just for the time being. Just to make sure that's getting done, because we are slacker lacking a little bit. It's not exactly good. And especially since we're starving and whatnot, we need to make sure that food is sorted. There's an emu there that we, if we were all healthy and... He said healthy and clean that we could go sort out, but we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. How long until this rice is grown? Jeez, it'll get us out of trouble straight away. I'm going to go schedule and unrestrict everyone. Oh, the filthy party has come to party. Three of them. Just three? I thought there was two arrows. Just three people. They do have clothes on, so we could potentially get a little upgrade here. Flak jacket. It's not grey. Are they attacking immediately? They are attacking immediately. So, under attack. Shame we're not cannibals. Let them come all the way down, I guess. One person. At least we could deal with these two. And then you on your own. Here we go. Hopefully we can take this person out fast, and then we can jump straight onto the other person, but the game might have... Right, there we go. Then switch onto them. Easy peasy. So Rhino needs to come over and help out quick before Mole goes down. Mole, can you leave combat? Ah, nice! And we still got one more person coming in. Hopefully the range can do their job early on, just to sort of help out a little bit here, because we have taken a little bit of damage. Hasn't got any flak, like, jackets or anything. Uh, not going well. Yes. Sadly, no gear. We're not going to imprison you or anything like that. Let's get all healed. Uh, steel axe and a sword. That is definitely an upgrade. Let me just double check. Jade's knife... 5.3. Find me what the penetration was on the jade. 19. So come equipped that sword because that is an upgrade. I think th the axe does better damage per second in 6. Obviously, armor penetration's a little bit worse. Um, I'm going to get you to pick up the axe. Just because I'd prefer the damage early on, because most of the things we're going to come up against are going to be unarmored, where we won't need the penetration, is what I'm thinking. So, that's the logic. Whether it works or not is another matter. We make sure we're tending people, please. I feel like that's a good start, a good first episode. I'm very, very happy with how things went. Can't really complain too much. Obviously, got a few silly injuries where we probably didn't need them, which is a bit sad. You know, not the worst thing in the world. 
Then how long until this rice grows? Not actually that long. We have got berries. Refugees? Um... I would normally have loved to accept them. I think the problem is we don't really have the food. Uh, that emu is asking to be... killed and eaten. Ah! I know that that I'll take the L on that. I'll take the loss on that. Bruh. That wasn't good. Right, there we go. Just we needed the meat. I know I did that really badly. I panicked and rushed when I shouldn't have. What are we do next episode? Recovering. Marriage is on. Hey, Nemi and Rhino, the king has his queen. No, I said no raw food, no corpses. No thank you. Well, I mean, it's not going great, party people, but it could be going a hell of a lot worse. So let's have some appreciation that we've actually got a roof over our head. Let's put a bit of perspection on this. Ambrosia sprout, because apparently we need to get high. Can I make sure... Yeah, no corpses, no raw food. Uh, I'm restrict, so then hopefully we can get some berries. What I'll do is I'll put construction on free, construction on free. So then we go... Uh, plant cup, and then grow. So two growers will sort out everything quite nicely. Uh, I hope we didn't try and eat that body there. But let's make sure this can be... Four corpses allow rotting. So... Can we haul this body out of this room? Oh, no, there literally is a uh, space there to haul it, like... Oh, because it's fresh. Okay. Okay, game. You got me. Right, there we go. Do need to put some graves in, but we'll worry about that in a little bit. Right, traps going around, harvesting the berry bushes. If we can get to good health, then we'll just start hunting the elephants, which will go perfect for us. Right, can we cook? I know you're ill and whatnot, but the quicker you cook, the quicker no one's starving to death, the quicker no one's moaning. Well, I say no one's moaning. Apparently, this is all our party people do, isn't it? Big old moaners. Starving to death. Boo hoo hoo. Can I have another cook. We'll get back on our feet. Don't worry about it, people. Got to cook meals because it's the main problem at the moment. No, stop running a million miles away. I'm getting stressed out now. There we go. Don't worry, I'll fix us. I'll fix us up. Not the worst position we've ever been in. Unrestrict. There we are. Got a bit of food in the belly, got a little bit left over, then we're all set to get a little bit more in. It could be worse. Don't be doom and gloom, party people. We always come back stronger. You know this by now. If you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.